Okay, uh, hello, uh, Cedarina Cat here. Welcome to another episode of Binder Kazooie. I believe this is the only one that isn't a monster that we haven't actually been into, so I'm going to go in here now. If I can. I... Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. Took a surprisingly long time. Amazing how many times you can manage to get hurt. Okay, that looks complicated, but uh, it seems to have made them sometimes go slower. So that's good. This thing, this controller really doesn't want me to move to go forwards. Anyway, my hope now is that we can go um, through that hall that we created and that will give me access to, these, to the engine room. Okay, now it didn't, but it brought me somewhere. That thing does not look nice. Okay, so I am guessing that... Unfortunately, I have a bunch of these. I don't mind admitting, I don't know how to do this and still be alive. I'm sorry, but I can't. I know I'm going to be missing a puzzle piece and I'm really, really sorry about that. And I'll be particularly sorry if I, uh, I need all of the puzzle pieces in order to complete the game. But I can't destroy that thing, and I'm not restarting again and getting all of, all of these uh, captured thingy bobs again and all 72 notes again. I'll do it if I absolutely have to, but otherwise, no. 
Okay, this door should be breakable. And, okay, yeah, I'm probably going to see if I can manage to get enough pieces of lives to be able to go down and uh, defeat that thing. I'm sorry for getting annoyed earlier. Well, it looked like there was something, some sort of cache of passage up there, yeah, but I'm I'm not going to be able to get it very easily with those uh, those bees there, so I'm not really sure what to do with that to do. Uh, I'll work it out later. <laughs> It would be nice if I could keep on moving forwards in such a way that I don't fall off things because I've suddenly, for no apparent reason, uh, he slammed my head into the ground. Look, this isn't going to be the best commentary. I'm I'm a little annoyed, and this is this is hard to concentrate on. So, but unfortunately I've already, there's no way for me to return to the save state I had at the beginning of the game, so I'm just going to have to uh, carry on with this commentary not being that great. So, you'll just have to bear with me. Not as hard as I thought it would be. See, I am managing to get bits of lives here. At least I can reposition the camera in this uh, this area. Ah, this is going to be time, Disney. I don't know. I don't know. It might not be. There doesn't appear to be a time warp there, so. Just gonna have to wait for this thing to be in the right place. Apparently, you can just uh, use the jumping attack where Kazooie sort of crashes. Um, himself straight down into things in order to defeat the giant uh, boss enemy and I didn't know that before. If I'd known that before I think I probably would have had an easier time uh, and managed to destroy it without losing so many bits of lives but well it's it is what it is. I managed to do that. Okay, a couple more 
This room actually isn't that bad. Well, bits of it aren't that easy, but generally it's not that bad. Is there any way for me to break through this? Break through this glass? I don't think there is. Okay, that was pretty hard to do. That wasn't particularly easy to do either. I really am sorry about how short this episode is going to end up being. I didn't want it to be this way, but as I said earlier, I spent a long time trying to defeat that boss, and obviously in the next episode, I'm going to have to go back and see if I can defeat that box. Still, I've got four of these captured things. Um, 84 notes. Well, look, I think I better end the episode now. Um, I've got something else that I really need to do urgently. Um...
I will see you next time when I promise to have a longer episode.